see me again, it's uh, video number three. If you haven't seen the first two, I'll put links below. But if you have seen the first two, then you're going to see this one. You're going to think, oh, that's nice. And then if you look closely, you see it wasn't me. So somebody copied what I did and made their own version, right? And they get this. Maybe they changed the colors. I'm not sure what they changed, but it's different a little bit. So if you think about the element of kind of fun and the collaboration and sort of oddly asynchronous, synchronous collaboration with who knows people around the world, then you could also add the element of fun to all of this, what we're doing here. And if you're working with a designer or you're trying to do this on your own or you are a designer, just think of the possibilities for just to expand your imagination using this tool. So already just me having made these, I've made two videos, my third video today on doing this, something that's brand new to me that could possibly change your world as far as getting design help for your work and being able to play with this. And the, just the immediacy of the back and forth of the designs is just rather amazing. So I wanna show you a couple of things I've done uh, in, in the past few minutes. And I, I basically keep hitting revised, right? I hit the V for variation and I get stuff like this, right? So I'm getting really happy with these. In fact, I think I'm good. Might have been this one. And now the thing is I've made so many, I'm losing track of what I've done. So I want to just pick one and then I want to do an upscale. And I also want to show you one thing I did. It's really cool because this is a YouTube video, of course, I'm making. So I did one thing. I changed this AR is the ratio. And this one, it doesn't look good, right? It just stretched it because I did a remix and I stretched and it looks like a stretch. That's not great. So what I just did, I just copied it and just made a brand new one and then I get this. And so it's brand new and it made that. So hello, awesome. So this one could absolutely be the thumbnail for this YouTube video. And in fact, if you're watching this, hopefully one of these is the thumbnail. In fact, I really like number, I like this. I'm really into signs and badges like that. So I really like here number four. So I'm going to do, first I'm going to do variation number four and just, I'm not going to change the thing. And then I'm going to do it. Well, when it's done, I'll do an upscale. So if I'm going to pick one of these, I think these buses were a little too red. Let me just do a quick check on what I've done here still. And again, I put my mentions of my username up there and we'll see what I've done. And we get these. So I'm just going to pick one. What's that? back there all right i'll go here i'm just going to upscale one of these and then we're going to take it into canva uh three i keep liking number three don't i okay we got that and i'm gonna there we go oh that's not even me that's the zico guy that's why i thought it was a little red they were a little too red for me yeah, let's jump back to this one there it is great and i'm just going to pick one i'm going to go with so i again i like contrast with so this i like the contrast with the white on the orange uh i'm going to go with that and for some reason the threes so i'm going to do an upscale on number three you know so again what upscale does is it makes a, a higher quality image it doesn't just stretch it it makes a higher quality image pretty darn cool you'll see in here, see those lines? That's what they call wood cut. I love that design feature. So that's what those lines are, which I'm a huge fan of. So that always gets me. So in a minute, I'm gonna have these upscale ones that are gonna be finished. And then I'm just gonna pull it into Canva and we're just gonna do, do a little bit of erasing. Oh, that's uh, my buddy Zico there. There we go. There we go. There's an upscale. Okay. So there are, here's the variations of the 16 by nine format. Oh, it's not even done. Zero percent. That's working. So you can see there, if you watch that little number, 27%. So it's, it's fascinating how it just creates it like that on the fly. These are looking really cool. And I, I look at that. See, it's, it's adjusted the banner. It's given me four different little badge banner style thingies there. That I get to choose from. And then here it's upscaled. So upscale doesn't change anything anymore. It just gives me a better quality. So I'm going to go with that one. And then, so I have to. Web. 
And remember, I'm just barely ahead of you on this, so I barely know how to do these things. But I think I click save. And I think it's going to save it to my computer. Yep, I just saw it go down. I'm going to come back to one of these wide guys. Ooh, I like that. The wide ones. Let's just take a quick peek at this, even though I'm jumping ahead here because we're looking at talking about book covers. Now I'm making YouTube covers. And here, wow, I like all of these. I'm going to go with the upper right. I'm going to go with number two. So I'm going to do a, I could do variation number two, but let's just get, let's just call this thing done for now. I'm just going to do upscale number two. And then let's go. Let's see a couple others I've done recently. Bring it over here. Do, do, do. I don't like to make it a background because I can't edit it. There we go. Look at that. So I think, there we go. I have the eraser. Make it a little bigger so I'm going to get rid of this text at the top. There we go, look at that. So now, done. Text. And here I could, of course, spend hours doing this. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to do a quick heading. Title. Okay, you know what, good enough for now. Just at least for this demonstration, I'd probably Let me see if I can squeeze under 10 minutes with a super fast thing. Okay.